and we are back with module two of the Intelligent Sales Machine program. So you've built your search list in the spreadsheet and now you're ready to take that list and start to apply logic to it. Essentially, you're gonna filter the best product opportunities and determine which ones are the best and most sensible to move forward into the next phase, which of course is the select phase. Let's dive in and take a look at our objectives in this phase. There are five overarching objectives in the shortlist phase. The first objective is to put some logic behind the list of opportunities you produced in the previous module. We do this by applying a very specific filter to your search results made up of six key criteria. You'll use each of the criteria to score your product opportunities and qualify the products that have the most potential for success. Each product will have an overall score, which will basically rule in or out a product. Spreadsheet will then sort your opportunities based on their potential into what we call a product league table. The products that don't score highly enough will be archived for now. And that's the shortlist phase. So before we dive into scoring the products and developing our league table, it's important to take just a minute or two to introduce the six key criteria that you'll be using to create your overall product score. Firstly, we have FBA, which as we know by now means fulfillment by Amazon. The second criteria in the shortlist phase are product reviews. Next, we have what we call listing quality. Then we have the optimum sales price, followed by determining whether or not a product is isolated or not. The final criteria is brand equity. Now, I know you're likely wondering what brand equity and isolated products are, right? Well, the good news is that we're going to dive into each of these in the next video. But before we do that, let me briefly explain what we're doing here. Basically, we're looking at the product opportunity we've found and we're asking ourselves six key questions about that particular product and product listing on Amazon. We're determining, number one, who's fulfilling the item to the end customer? Number two, how many reviews has the item got and how established is the item on Amazon? Number three, we wanna know how good the actual listing is itself and can we improve upon it? Number four, we'll ask ourselves if the item is selling at an optimum price or is it too inexpensive? We wanna know if the item is sold on its own or with a bonus product. And number six, is the brand that owns this product a big international brand that's well known and sells by virtue of the size of the brand. 